Hazo Leavers, this is Super Summer God Barbecue, and today I don't like making these videos, but a bunch of people have been released by WWE. What that means is they're now out of a job. There are people disappearing from Supercard, and this is the video you're gonna find out probably who's gonna go by the time season eight rolls around. Yes, you've probably got about two weeks to get these cards and they are going to disappear. How much of an effect is gonna have on season eight especially is, well, at the moment, can only be left to the imagination until the game comes out. But we've seen this happen in the past, even as recent as SummerSlam tier. So let's get into it. In fact, getting into some TBG awards to start things off. Let me know in the comment section down below which one shocked you the most. Well, this is one of those videos that's gonna really suck to record. You know what? I'm just glad you guys are here. But do you know who's not been future endeavored? El Lyco. Despite not being paid a cent or a penny, he's still here. Do you know the reason why he's here? because we haven't liked the video enough. So that's where I need your help to get rid of this son of a <laughs> right now. So let's go for a thousand likes on this video. I think he'll go away for a while. Let's do it all together in three, two, one. Boom! Oh. I think he, he definitely got fired. No, no, uh, okay, fine. At least he's out of the way. Let's open it up, uh, Kaylee Ray. I'm glad to see. Carl O'Reilly is a weird one. Apparently he's gonna be at SmackDown tonight, uh, but <sighs> whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. And R-Truth, okay, so thankfully none of the release wrestlers in this set of rewards. Oh boy, this one's gonna be tough. Okay, so let's talk who's gone. So last night about 10 o'clock, uh, we got the first news that a bunch of WWE superstars have been released. Initially, it was NXT people. The likes of Frankie Monet, which she had not been put into Supercard yet, but no doubt was probably going to end up as part of the game at some point. Uh, and shockingly, Ember Moon, Scarlet as well, which blew my mind when I saw it. And these guys all have cards, apart from uh, Frankie, but Frankie probably was going to have a card in the game. But these guys are going to be going. Ember Moon is a particularly big one because she's even in Summer Slam tier. You know, that, that's how recent this is. These aren't guys who've suddenly, you know, just come into the company are just going to be leaving and have had one card, for example. These guys are, are long-standing members. Like, she goes far as back as elite tier. So that's the first card. And the, once we get season eight, these, these are gone. Like, kaput, gone. Probably never going to come back. Well, at least not for a long time. Scarlet's a different situation because she hasn't really had too many. She's had four cards in total, but she is part of the support. And well, we know what happened to Alistair Black's support. It all got changed and he got completely removed from the game. So who are they going to replace her with? I don't know. But this example is actually incredible irony because at the beginning of season seven, Zelina Vega left and was supposed to be the support guard for season seven and then she was replaced by scarlet and now scarlet's leaving probably to be replaced by either zelina or someone else even though she doesn't manage she's actually the queen of the ring so it can be resolved but last time this happened in forged and summer slammed here it caused some Big problems, big, big problems. Let me start getting some other names. And BFAB was a very suspicious one, and she's only in Forged Tier. But the thing that I am concerned about is that not only for BFAB, but also, also the likes of Only Lorcan, who also has left WWE now. These guys probably were going to be part of Season 8 in some way or form. Lower tier or mid tier or top tier possibly. Look at the fact that only Lorcan hadn't had a card since primal tier but ended up in the top tier of season seven when it launched. That's just how far this could potentially reach. Ember Moon is another one considering she's been on TV more often recently and obviously being on the USA network with NXT 2.0. And BFAB just made the main roster as well, went to SmackDown as part of the draft. So it's a bit mad. Outside of that, there wasn't any major names at that point. And then we started to get the big ones. And these ones could 
genuinely affect whether the game is actually going to be delayed, possibly, or maybe cards are going to have to be held back and released later. Maybe the number of cards in a tier will be reduced, or they'll have to find other wrestlers, talent, superstars, whatever you want to call them, from NXT 2.0, which was likely to happen anyway. It was almost certain that like Sabron Breaker were going to end up being in Season 8 at some point. But we maybe didn't think it was going to happen this soon. Because then they announced Lince Dorado, Gran Metalik, Lucha House Party. Harry Smith, not in the game, so that's not going to be too much of a big concern. Mia Yim, whose last card was in Elemental and Royal Rumble tier, who now won't be able to be pulled as part of the Halloween collection. Eva Marie, who only just made her return to the game in Forge tier. So literally, she came back for one tier and then, see you later, she's, she's gone. Then, Nia Jax, who has been in every single tier since Elemental, all the way through to, to Forged and... She's gone. Yeah. So this is going to be the last time you can get hold of some of the 56 cards that she has in the catalogue. Then, Carrion Cross, And again, a big part of the game since Elemental Tier. Big part of Season 7 as well. Pretty much featured in every tier except... No, he was featured in WrestleMania 37 tier. That's a big shocker. Even though he was being treated a bit like a joke, it's still bizarre. Crazy. And the last one being Keith Lee. Now Keith Lee is still shocks me and he only just had a Summer Sound 21 fusion. Now you're probably saying, why am I reading off all these cards? Well, like I mentioned, the problem is that these cards will be gone. You've got two weeks. Once this, once season eight starts, these cards are going to be gone. They might even be gone sooner. What is going on with WWE at the moment? But that's a conversation for another time. This is going to massively affect 2K22. Probably not as bad as what happened earlier on this year with the likes of Bray Wyatt, Bobby Fish, Adam Cole, for example. Those are going to be very, very different. This, however, is um, just before a new season is probably going to be pretty harsh. I mean, thank God it wasn't Carmella on that list. Although there are rumors that the guys over in the UK have been spared purely because they're in the UK at the moment. So there might be more to come. I'd like to hope it's not any of those guys and that's just pure rumor and speculation. So the pressure's on. At least we've got the two times picks to look forward to. And, you know, you've probably got two fusions time to get Keith Lee now and everything else. I'm just glad it's not Zelina again. I mean, that would have been crazy. Or anyone else. I mean, Kyle O'Reilly, as I said before, there's, there's rumors about him potentially leaving NXT. It's all a bit mad with, with WWE at the moment. Very, very disappointing. But like I said, guys, comment section down below. Let me know which one shocked you the most. Sorry, this video has been a little bit more melancholy, but it's just been a bit crazy. Drop that huge elbow on the subscribe button if you want to see more of this, especially with season eight coming up. You know, you're going to see everything on the channel. I'll see you later, guys. I was going to do the whole ZD thing, but I'm just going to let you go. Peace out. So far away.